Basketball fans have brackets out waiting for tonight's games on CBS. And if you're betting on those games, it's often illegal. And now there's a move to legalize sports betting here in Colorado. Investigator Rick Salinger live in Blackhawk tonight. And Rick, this would allow casinos to use apps. Well, Dominic, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down the ban on sports betting and left it up to the individual states. Colorado could be next in line. And the gaming establishments like Monarch Casino here definitely want in. The casino industry is betting on expanding its revenues well beyond its doors. In Blackhawk Central City in Cripple Creek, you can watch the sporting events on TV, but it's illegal for those who come here to place bets. Potentially losing revenue if you travel to Vegas and make your bets there. So what many of the casinos want is for people to legally be able to bet on sports anywhere through an app like this on their phone. The casino operators would then pay a tax. If you bet $100 on, using rough numbers, if you bet $100 on a, a basketball game during March Madness, the casino on average holds 5% of that. So out of the $100 bet, the casino is only holding $5. The state would be expected to reap in millions. We will be able to put it towards some of the needed priorities that we have in this state, like, you know, road infrastructure and you know, water plan and other big priorities. Betting on games is illegal, but widely done. How do you bet on the basketball games? Well, I can't tell you because it's not legal here. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Do you bet on the game? Through a bookie. Well, here's what must happen in order for this to take place. The state legislature has to pass a bill. Then it would be up to the voters to decide, quite possibly next November, to legalize sports betting in Colorado. Live in Blackhawk, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado first. There might be an app for that, Rick.